organized by the Typography Society of India. I am extremely happy to share with you this landmark that we'll be completing one year this 27th of June. Today we have a master calligrapher, Mr. Narayana Bhattadiri, one of the finest calligraphers India has ever produced with us. He'll be speaking about his life journey from a fine art student to a fine calligrapher and a graphic designer. He shares his experiences in various fields he left his mark as a calligrapher, including publication design, film and video, exhibition, motion graphics, etc. Today, this biographical talk will take us to unexplored areas and applications of the wonderful art form of calligraphy. Narayana Bhattadiri graduated from College of Fine Arts to Vandrum. In 1982, he joined Kalakaumadi Group of Publications in Trivandrum as an artist and his designation was calligrapher. He is the first person in Kerala to be designated as a calligrapher. He worked on the creative expression, calligraphic expression for titles, for different stories and articles in the publication that time. More than four decades, he played, explored and expressed with Malayalam alphabets, giving fine expressions to titles of stories, poems and articles in different publications. He is a recipient of the Jigji Excellence Award in International Calligraphy for many years. He has conducted several exhibitions at art galleries and educational institutions in different parts of the world. His works are exhibited in the prestigious Calligraphy Stone Park in Herbin, China, and also at Calligraphers in Conversation, the annual International Calligraphy Exhibition in San Francisco. He is the chief organizer and the festival director of Kachadataba, the first national calligraphy festival of Kerala. Mr. Bhattadiri designed a permanent exhibition of his calligraphic expression based on the legendary writer, Mr. Ovi Vijayan's Malayalam classic, Kasak in the Itihasa, which is a first of its kind calligraphy series based on a novel in any Indian language. It has been my privilege to be his friend for a long time. And uh, I was following his work. I am also like uh, thousands of other calligraphers in the world. I am also inspired by his work. And one thing which is very uh, important to note that like when you attend Tibetan uh, painting uh, or the sculptures or uh, when we attend uh, any event of uh, spirituality there is a sense of calmness and you know everything becomes very calm around you so when you attend a workshop or a calligraphic demonstration by Mr. Narayana Bhattadiri the most important thing is that his calmness and the spiritual feel he shares it with the entire audience that entire place becomes very calm and serene and quiet. And his calligraphy, I feel, is a, a personification of elegance, beauty, and charm. And he does a lot of interesting experiments with different styles, colors, textures, and tools. And I was very privileged a few weeks back when he shared on a personal level his recent experiments with the oblique pen, where he developed a very different technique and style of expressing Malayalam letterforms in a calligraphic style based on the oblique nib. And uh, very important, another very interesting thing he uh, is that he wakes up at 3.30 every morning and from 4.30 onwards, he spends a few hours, or the most important time of the day, 
spends on his calligraphic experiments and shares it in different social media his facebook page is a wonderful source of inspiration to many generations of calligraphers around the world and he has played a very important role in making calligraphy very popular among the uh, public not only in india but abroad also and in the one of the greatest uh, things about the lockdown lot of youngsters have taken up calligraphy have taken inspiration from great masters like narayana bhattacharya i am extremely happy to introduce him to all of you on behalf of the organizing committee of the typography society of india i would like to thank him for accept, accepting our invitation and for giving us this talk over to you mr narayana bhattacharya thank you very much good evening everyone uh, our main talking point for today is session about expression and innovation in calligraphy and i would like to emphasize more on malayalam that is my uh, as you may all know malayalam is one of many indian languages that have very good qualities considering uh, it is included in the government of india's list of classic languages we can understand the value and legacy associated with it like many other languages malayalam is also a language that has grown leaps and bounds to its and then to its literature personally i am very fond of the language and its lessons and i have carried them in my heart from my childhood uh, during my school days I had an habit of writing in neat. My classmates who saw this approached me to write their names on their new textbooks and notebooks. They are by, <clears throat> and I would affectionately write their names as per their request. <coughs> I was careful that I shouldn't be writing in a similar way at all times. and wanted to bring about some difference each time i wrote to be very honest i did not know what is calligraphy or even there was such an art when i go to college my writing experiments moved to out of notebooks to posters all of Uh, handwritten magazines in Kerala that is highly popular, and uh, even in, in invitations such as wedding invitation and uh, um, such as and uh, such things. Apart from the sheer curiosity out of doing it, I really don't think at all. that was done because of the love for calligraphy or for my later i joined in the college of finance it was essential to find a job for surviving and i hence worked with a senior friend as a uh, the ability to write letters kept me going there too the same skill uh, then gave me the opportunity to collaborate with the kalagamudi group the kalagamudi group of publications uh, which is one of the very well known publishing house in kerala my main job was to write titles for stories poems and other articles written by uh, most popular malayalam writers or this uh, as i was regularly doing this Difficult job. Uh, a difficult task of writing forty to forty-five titles in two days. It is slowly started to become more and more interesting than just a, a routine job. I can easily say that I did that job for eighteen years with a lot of enjoyment. 
uh, it was there i was given a title of a calligrapher no one in malayalam language how ever been given such a status before or ever since although i have now made my living as a graphic designer i continue to work on titles for many publications uh, many publications and the uh, films movies and other digital media the malayalam script is something i really love in all the indian scripts not only because i have been practicing the script since a very long time the aesthetics of the script it curves on scope or something that i look to explore every single day mm-hmm. the there is a popular joke about the people of kerala it has been said that they will speak the language of the place they move to in little to no time this indicates how quick malayalis are to accept and to learn a new language a new culture etc uh, it is very much possible that possible a true to an extent and uh, hence i think we should we should not pass this so fast said john being someone who deals with the letters of the malayalam language i feel there is still a long way to go in this game in my view malayalam letters can be written like how we write letters of any other language in the world. and i am skeptical this is a possible to every other language that is something i feel is a bonus of the malayalam script the script the structure and its forms are very flexible compared to other uh, counterparts another peculiar feature of the script that i have been able to explore it is possibly to make ambigrams for those who you know uh, don't know about ambigrams so this is a calligraphy which reads the same straight and it will held upside down as well i have been able to make around uh, nearly 25 of them and i have not seen many other coming of it i am going to see any other indian language uh, i will show you uh, some ambigrams um, of mine this is my name narayana the ease with which can be extended and molded result are such a creations uh, that is a specialty of malayalam <clears throat> uh, now coming to the contemporary calligraphy my curiosity for exploring more about the letters has now reached calligraphy more than just about writing letters in a beautiful form calligraphy has now grown into pieces of creative art that are may complete compositions with letters it has outgrown at least in some scenario to work of art which are worth equal or even more than paintings i think so. <clears throat> i am so elated to know that there are many people who still keep all this in their minds and express them sometimes due to the constant encouragement of sundar uh, one of my close friends now he is no more <clears throat> i was able to collect uh, and hold an exhibition of over 150 selected works from over uh, 40000 calligraphy and typography titles that i have wrote in december the exhibition is in december 2020 uh, i was lucky to receive the support of many friends many friends many many friends for the event and the success it had achieved will never be forgotten it paved the way for me to hold exhibitions in kerala and other parts of india like delhi bombay 
the main alpha block, <coughs> event series. Uh, if my memory serves me right, uh, it is from 2050 that I have started posting one or two calligraphy works daily in Facebook, for which I have been receiving some great response. Uh, I will show you some FB posts. Uh, it was during those times, uh, one of my another friends, uh, Anu Gamakshan, uh, told me about Hachit Pandey. Uh, he told me he is a very, very good calligrapher, uh, Indian calligrapher. Uh, my perception about calligraphy slowly began to change after I saw the works of Hachit Pandey on the internet. The writing still went on without anyone to leave the way. No one to point out the faults and shortcomings. All I heard was a belief and optimism that I was doing good enough. It should be in 2060 that I received an email from someone named Sarang Kulkarni. The email was an invitation to a calligraphy camp organized by Acharya in Pune. Uh, I was totally shocked and told it. The air ticket fell and I reached Pune as per the schedule. Fourteen Hindi-speaking calligraphers whom I did not know and then there was me. Trying to be one among them. Although I was scared that I did not know Hindi. On the next morning, when we were go, uh, uh, we were to go towards the campsite from the hotel. I was waiting alone in the hotel lobby, helplessly looking at the other calligraphers who were a president's own friends who were talking to each other, joking and visibly have a jolly time. Suddenly, there was a man who came to me with a picture in his mobile. Are you Narayana Patanjali who did this work? I really was really my But that was Achyutpana himself. He then stayed with me until the end of the camp while working and while we eating. The bone which started by then, it is still going very strong. Uh, after being someone who used to use brushes, I got to learn about various calligraphy tools and various techniques of calligraphy from Machipala. I think I have said this before and I would like to say it once again. That meeting was definitely being the turning point of, that was the turning point of my calligraphy journey. <clears throat> the new phase of my calligraphy that begins that is not now at the stage you are seeing today. I will show some of my works. <clears throat>
Every day I post one or two calligraphy works in Facebook like this. These are the posts from the Facebook. <coughs> Uh, if I wrote the, is a, in Malayalam poems, I like poetry also, so I am writing Malayalam poems, you know, famous poets. Uh, I am indeed indebted to many calligraphies. Calligraphy artists in India and abroad, and their influence is also visible in my work. I feel it's safe to assume that calligraphy has been tremendous development in almost all languages in the world for years. Uh, the number of calligraphy exhibitions, camps, and uh, calligraphy festivals, etc., that are organized regionally, nationally, and internationally is just a testament to energy that prevails about calligraphy. Uh, nowadays, calligraphy is including uh, making uh, the fashion designers and the architects, including calligraphy in various forms of the, uh, in different languages. I have personally done calligraphy and variety of fabrics in kurta, t-shirt, uh, sari, etc. And I feel that it makes the fabric even more beautiful and popular among the people. Mm -hmm. The interests that we are seeing in the younger generation to learn and practice calligraphy is surely giving us signs that the future of this art this is going to be even more exciting. Even though it is lagging behind compared to other languages in India. I am thrilled about how the calligraphy scene is improving Kerala and Malayalam language as well. Mm -hmm. one, uh, one day, a, a school boy asked me, what is the, he asked me, what is the scope of calligraphy and how it may career in calligraphy? I replied that the scope depends highly on the skill. If you are very skilled, there are an empty there are ample opportunities to express your work in calligraphy and gain money from it. The key to success, I feel, is that one needs to practice as much as they can so that the art will move to its perfection. I also would like to say that you should not work on anything just for money involved. The passion towards the art is more important than the money that will come from. Uh, I will show some more words.
every day i work up 3 o'clock in the morning and one hour i like this telegram and a big thanks to everyone i can see the influence of many artists in my calligraphy so thanks to them too ओके नारायण ओके वी आर गोइंग लाइव विद द क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर शेयरिंग योर वंडरफुल एक्सपीरियंस विद आवर ऑडियंस बिकॉज़ अ वंडरफुल एक्सपीरियंस लिसनिंग टू यू एंड सीइंग योर वर्क थैंक यू आई विल बी रीडिंग आउट क्वेश्चंस can you tell us something about your predecessors in malayalam calligraphy okay. uh, many artists might have uh, have you seen the works of uh, your uh, previous generation 
uh, people who have worked in the area of malayalam calligraphy and have seen what is did they inspire you to their work uh, typography cheyyana varu nerthe undayirunnu alla calligraphy ee ippolthe aa oru reethiyil cheyyana varu munbu undannu enikku thonunnilla and when do you plan to make the oblique pen calligraphy public it is not in the public domain yet. it was wonderful work so i am i just i am very curious to know uh, when do you plan to make it public ah uh, work cheyidondirikkane ullu korchu da malayala aksharangalude oru reethi english vaayittu valare adhu baaki ullavarku pidi kittathilla മറുപടി പറയുമ്പോഴേ ഇംഗ്ലീഷിൽ പറഞ്ഞാൽ മതി ഓഹോ റൈറ്റിംഗ് സ്റ്റൈൽ ഓഫ് മലയാളം അതർ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഡിഫറൻറ്റ് ഓൾ ഇന്ത്യൻ ലാംഗ്വേജസ് ആർ ക്ലോക്ക് വൈസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ആൻഡ് അതർ ദ ആർ ആൻഡ് സോ ദ ഒബ്ലിക് പെൻ ഈസ് ലിറ്റിൽ ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് ടു റൈറ്റ് മലയാളം ലെറ്റേഴ്സ് that is why i am trying to uh, develop a new style that is why it is <clears throat> and can you uh, share something about the your dream project you know that video you are planning to do with uh, hundreds of people yeah, yeah. around the world writing the letter r yeah yeah, yeah. i have uh, on the world calligraphy day on uh, august 11 Uh, I am planning to uh, make a video on 100 calligraphers uh, with 100 languages 100 uh, from 100 countries uh, they will write the first letter of their native language uh, that is I am planning uh, uh, some uh, are sending the video to me and uh, i will like what was the inspiration to do a video film like that on the first letter it was the interesting calligraphy that is uh uh have people's perception of calligraphy changed over the years perfection the perception Uh, okay. have people's perception of calligraphy yeah. changed over the years yeah uh, there are very 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 much things uh, most of the calligraphers are uh, artists also so uh, the uh, coloring style and other uh, uh, thing your stamp that you use in your work looks yeah. very interesting can you tell something about it uh, uh, in, uh, when i when to south korea they uh, in chinese calligraphers and korean calligraphers they are uh, put their uh, sign uh, in their work in sales from that I, uh, <laughs> made your own stamp yeah yeah what is your favorite tool we have worked in different tools which is uh, all tools are my favorite the writing it depends on the writing style the tools are this what inspired you to become a professional calligrapher the interesting the letter Mm-hmm. and uh, can you tell us about this how did you start this making up and doing that brahma mohurtam yeah every day i wake up at 3 o'clock when did you start all this and what was the inspiration to do that uh, because uh, at that time very the silent the സർ 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 വെരി സൈലന്റ് നോ ഫോൺ മിൽക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ മെയിൻ വെൻ ഡിഡ് യു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ദിസ
When did you start this uh, habit of waking up early? More than six or seven years. Okay. So, uh, earlier we talked about the public opinion of calligraphy. So, like many calligraphers, you have also mentioned that the awareness is a problem. When we were organizing the Kachadadapa event in Trivandrum, that time also a lot of people asked, what exactly is calligraphy? And what is this three-day program? And you know, what is the big thing about sort of people, demonstration, workshop, and lectures? And that. So what is your uh, plan? I mean, how, how do we improve the public awareness about type calligraphy? In Kerala, uh, nobody knows about calligraphy. That yes. is the main problem. Not uh, only Kerala, I, everywhere there is a problem. Uh, in Bombay <laughs> and Delhi, <laughs> so many people. No, but, even then, a lot of people ask, what uh, is this thing called? What is, the, what is calligraphy? Yeah. What is the big thing about it? Uh, now I am planning um, to see the education minister and tell him to uh, include calligraphy in the school syllabus. Uh, that will be a good start, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, the education ministry is one of my friends, so I will try to tell him. Mm -hmm. Let us hope that it will work out and you know, you will get to include this in the School syllabus for ah, yeah yeah school syllabus that will make good uh, future. <clears throat> but how do you how will we train the teachers to teach calligraphy? Who will teach? Uh, uh, the uh, drawing teachers in the school there is a drawing teacher. Yeah. Most of the drawing teachers have writing. I take a workshop for the school drawing teachers here. One day workshop. About okay. most of the teachers were interested in writing, okay. so uh, they can do. And you might have seen there is a big change in this calligraphy scene all over yeah. after the lockdown. So, what is your opinion? What is the impact of lockdown on calligraphy? Uh, more time to work. <laughs> That's more. More time. You know, because whatever I have observed, mm -hmm. suddenly I can see hundreds of calligraphers, youngsters in India yeah, yeah. taking calligraphy mm -hmm. and they are doing a lot of work and posting their work every day. Uh, before the lockdown, I have never seen that kind of work happening in Instagram. Mm -hmm. Now, you can see different age groups from a 10 standard child to a 60 year old person. Lot of people are working in calligraphy, posting their work. I have never seen that kind of activity happening in uh, social media before the lockdown. So, do you think it is a positive? Uh, thing something of... is positive uh, because in this lockdown, I designed uh, two fonts. One is working on <clears throat> Malayalam font. Okay. Malayalam font is very difficult to uh, make it. Glyphs. Uh, it is more than thousands, so it is very difficult. Uh, in the lockdown, I have more time. <laughs> is it the same one you wanted to have Mohan Lal involved in? What the, he is not accepted. No, but it is the same font you are talking about. No, no, uh, that is another. Uh, that mm. is not. Mm. And can you tell me uh, something about you? You know, you do a lot of experiments with this upside down. Yeah. Mirror and ambigram, ambigram. 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 Yeah. and uh, you know, sometimes in a workshop you have done that, you know, writing your name upside down and then yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> so how did you start all this and you know, how do you feel about this kind of experiment in calligraphy? Everybody can do that, I think so. Uh, we study the letter with the Sharply, then we can write here or any time, anyway, we can write. That's no, after that, I had written your name for your birthday and sent it to you. So, did you see that video and did yeah, you yes. see that upside down and then? 
then you see narayana bhat what do you feel about this kind of that kind of experiment other people are doing with your name that is very good a lot of our students also started yeah. doing that after seeing oh. my everybody brother. can do that everybody can do that. yeah and can you tell us something about your permanent uh, work in china which is displayed in the stone ah yeah uh, there is a calligraphy park in china calligraphy stone park they uh, think the calligraphy in cloth or paper will uh, damage uh, after yes <clears throat> so they plan to uh, engrave the calligraphy work in the stone mm. uh, so for that they uh, take a wide area to build this calligraphy park stone calligraphy stone park uh, they are collecting all over the languages and the calligraphy in from india they have only two works uh, one is Uh, Devendranath Tagore's that is another is mine. <laughs> so that is a very important thing to have. Can you tell, uh, share your experience uh, about creating that permanent exhibition on uh, Mr. Ovi Vijayan's novel? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the Kasak in the Itihasa uh, in nineteen. and it was in 2019 is the 50th year of kasak in the kasak uh, so uh, in tasrak the vijayan spray uh, there there is a um, ovi vijayan memorial uh, one hall and gallery so one area uh, there i right a series of calligraphy based on the obi vijayan's novel kasak in the uh, that is permanently permanently exhibited in kasak and what was the feedback from his readers you know because it is a classic novel and there are a lot of readers who are hooked on to oh, yeah novel is <laughs> what was their reaction the readers reaction to the calligraphy uh more other that uh, no no some some will call me and they tell me it is good uh, they are and they don't know me so and uh, can you share us uh, share uh, some of your experiences of organizing the first calligraphy event in kerala it was for the first time it was a very yeah. big and lot of calligraphers from all over india 14 14 calligraphers from <laughs> india and lot of participants and it was a very yeah. important thing to some to start something in kerala inspired by typo day uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, in malayalam nobody knows about the i want to understand what is calligraphy that is the main mm. and uh, can you tell us something about the that kind of a relationship of calligraphic expression mm. and font design you have worked in both the areas yeah you have been associated with many font design and a lot of other work also yeah, yeah. so how, how do you relate the two of them There is no relation. <laughs> uh, Kalyapi, we have freedom to do anything. Um, uh, then phone will have some uh, rules and uh, some technical rules. Kalyapi have no. We can do free. There is one more question. do you plan your works and composition first or go with the flow instead no planning <laughs> just take the paper and 
<laughs> and uh, how do you see the next generation of calligraphers emerging? How do you see their work and how do you react to them? Some of the new generation students are uh, very, uh, very good. They are working in they, they will try to do good work. And uh, like you mentioned earlier, before also in some other interviews, that uh, when you look at applied art education in India. No, no. Uh, when we look at applied art education in India, huh. uh, enough <laughs> importance is not given to calligraphy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one more problem is that not enough uh, importance is given to regional language category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, in Kerala, I don't know how many applied art institutes teach Malayalam calligraphy. Oh. So there is a very... They teach English calligraphy. Ah. So yeah. there is this area of concern I wanted to share with you. You also mentioned in many other discussions that students pass out from their respective states without knowing their mother tongue calligraphy. Yes, yes. So applied, art department, applied art education should really change yeah, to yeah. accommodate yes. regional language calligraphy. What do you feel about it and how do we play how do you plan to contribute to something to change the situation as of today? They are they are looking for the for a scope in uh, this calligraphy. So, so in Malayalam calligraphy we are snow rain only in Kerala. That is why they are teaching English. So do you don't do you think that design institutes and applied art institutes contribute more to developing calligraphy? I mean, the uh, workshops for uh, design schools and finance colleges here. I will do, I will teach them Malayalam calligraphy. Yeah. How did they react to it? How did they cooperate with it? Uh, most of the students are like, uh, some students are not interested in Malayalam. They are. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, we will conclude the session now. Oh. I will just uh, share my screen and uh, uh, thank the people who have contributed to this. I'll take up one minute. So I would like to, on behalf of the organizing team, myself, Karun, Professor Tarun Deep, Dr. Uday Kumar and Chirag Gander, I would like to thank everybody I, we would also like to thank uh, the Hasgeek team and all the group members of the Typography Society of India, WhatsApp and Facebook, everybody. And those who want still to uh, send any questions to Mr. Narayana, you are most welcome to write to us, sampark.tsi at gmail.com. And uh, now I will uh, stop here. I want to thank... So Narayana Bhattadari for spending his valuable time with us. It was a wonderful experience seeing your work and chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.